So hi guys, this is just a raw video of something I want to share with you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm just putting this video out here and while I'm telling you about what I want to share with you, I also want to assemble this end table. So yeah, so this is this video when I recorded it, I was going to talk about something different and then I decided that no, you know what? My spirit just said, you need to talk about this. And that is why I'm coming to you. So I really hope you guys don't mind me doing it like this. I could have showed myself, but my daughter <laughs> in the last video that you saw where she went to get glasses, my daughter, my youngest daughter gave my um, oldest daughter <laughs> flu and a cough and everything. She likes sharing. And of course I got it again. So yeah, so I'm getting ready to assemble this. And of course I tried to assemble it all by myself and, um, but I was just not feeling so good. And I, um, told my husband to help me out. So I want to say something and I hope you guys permit me to say something, but what I want to say is about subscribers. Um, yeah. So I want to say about subscribers, about people that subscribe to my channel especially to you all. I'm not saying this for other people that subscribe to other people's channel. I'm saying this for people that subscribe to my channels. I want to say a big thank you, you guys. I, I know that maybe I don't say it so much in my videos, but I really, really do want to say it from the bottom of my heart. I am so grateful to you guys. I appreciate you all, even if you watch and you don't subscribe, but you keep on coming back to watch, it would be nice for you to subscribe. <laughs> but if you don't, I still appreciate you. You see, YouTube has changed over the years. And over the years with YouTube changing, people have been um, doing things that they wouldn't normally do in real life. You wouldn't, you wouldn't catch them doing it. But they've been doing it because they need the views. Um, they need people to watch them. And yeah, views is good. Uh, when you get more views, you can get more ads, you can get more this, you can get more paid. But I love keeping it real. When I create videos, I create videos not only for people that watch, but specifically for my family. I create memories and those memories are memories that years later, I can see once in a while, I see my daughters who are now, um, I have a nearly 15 year old and a 18 year old, she's going to be 19 this year, going off to college. And I have them watching their videos when they're little and they're like, oh, mommy, thank you so much for recording this. So that gives me so much joy. Even if I don't get a lot of views, you know, it gives me joy. I understand there are people that, you know, will do videos and they'll do things that will embarrass their family. And I'm just like, Oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't judge, but there are just some videos out there that you watch and I'm like, in five years from now, will I be able to watch this and be proud of myself? Or will I say I've created content that has helped somebody, that has helped humanity? You know, I want my videos to be videos that my children their children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren can go back and watch and say, oh, look at Nana. <laughs> Is that Nana? Gran grandma. Look at Grandma putting this table together. Oh, there comes Grandpa. You know, I just want to create that memory. And those kind of memories are memories that money cannot buy. Um, I know people will still keep on doing something. And it's so sad, the situation of marriage, especially right now, where everybody puts out all their business, all their business. If you're having a fight with your wife, you will first come on social media and tell your wife and tell people rather than sitting down with your wife in closed corners and um, closed doors and talking it out. Instead of you doing that, you go on, come online, you, you know, you record your wife when she's not doing something right. You record your husband when he's not doing something right. Instead of, you know, gone are the days when people just you know, when people just sit down and just talk. I mean, it's sad, the situation of marriage. And, you know, I try my best in my marriage to, you know, we have conflict. We are, we're not perfect, you know, no matter what, we're not perfect. And we also, we you know, we show our children that we're not perfect. Yeah, 
you know, we can have arguments. The arguments usually don't last more than <laughs> five, 10 minutes, to be honest. But, you know, we respect each other. But you won't see me coming online berating my husband, you know, embarrassing him. And I'm saying this to the younger couples. I've been married to my husband for 20 years now plus, And we have gone through thick and thin. I remember when we first got married or when we we're going to get married. And, you know, if you know my marriage story, you know that um, we, we got married within nine months or so of meeting each other. And there were people that said, don't marry, you know, whatever. But through thick and thin, we sustained ourselves. And we do have situations when there are times that, you know, I'm not happy. There are times that he's not happy and we try to work it out. Don't let social media be the first place that you come to, to share out your concern. Don't let social media be the place where your wife finds out something about you that you've been hiding. Don't let social media be the place that your husband finds out something about you and you'll be, you know, I'm leaving this video here uh, for people. I'm also leaving it out for my daughters. You know, when you're in relationship, Learn to listen to each other. Learn to understand each other. Just learn to find a middle ground. You don't always have to be right. You don't always have to be the one taking the punches in terms of conversation. I don't mean physical punches. We don't condone that. If anybody dear lays a hand on you, out. Out. Because we don't condone that. But yeah, so... Those kind of things that people do right now, because I've been watching, I watch a lot of YouTube. Let's be honest. I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of videos and I just like, oh my gosh. And my husband sends me videos and he's like, what is going on? Some of them is just like, but why, why do we have to, you know, put ourselves in this, um, put ourselves in this position where the whole world has to know everything about us. Okay, so I'm going to segue now and also discuss some stuff. And this is for subscribers. I do appreciate my subscribers, you know, and I'm thankful for them. And to be honest with you, on my channel, I don't get subscribers being mean, being nasty. I do get once in a while, some people write bad comments, some people write rude comments. But generally, I just want to say we have gold in terms of subscriber we have wonderful wonderful people that are supportive you know they watch you know they leave their comments they leave their advice i take their advice and that so but i want to say something if you're a subscriber and sometimes you know you you watch something on social media and you want to voice out your concern you want to say something before you start typing just breathe <laughs> Before you start typing, just wait, just think about what you're going to type. Then if possible, put yourself in the position of that content creator. Sometimes when we create content, some days we're not in the best mood. Some days we might have worked all night and we're so tired, but we just want to create a content to just, you know, um, kind of keep that memory. So sometimes we'll do some things that, we don't even know, even while editing, we might not even see it. And then there are sometimes that some subscribers will come or some people watching, not even subscribers, some people, some viewers, I should say viewers, because, you know, if you're a subscriber, you're a subscriber on viewers. Some viewers will come on and they will berate you. They'll curse you out. You know, I have a Facebook page and Facebook people, they, they are so nice, but there are some that are rotting apples there that... They are so mean. There's some that will give bad comments and they could care less. And you know, <laughs> and some days you just want to give them back their dose of medicine. And you're just like, no, let me just, let me just be the tough person. Just say, okay, thanks for watching. Even though they're cursing you out, you know, you'll be acting like Mumu. But oh my goodness, I tell you, you know, this table was very nice, very, very interesting. It was just nice working with my husband, that guy. I can't trade him for anything. <laughs> I always tell my husband this. I know I segue. I'm segueing again. But I always tell my husband this. I always say that, hmm, if something happens, God forbid, though. But let's say, you know, my husband passes. I don't see myself remarrying again. Let's say something happens between both of us and it doesn't work out. I don't see myself marrying again. And why? 
why don't I see myself marrying again? You know how hard it is to learn about somebody's behavior. What does he like to eat? What does he like to do? What does he like to, you know, oh, if I cook this, will he like it? Oh, in terms of the other room, when we have sex, eh, does he like this position? Eh, is this fitting? Is this, you know, all that stuff. I cannot deal. I don't like more why why I didn't come to the world of stress. I I can't deal. So I always tell my husband, I say, look, my dear, if something happens between us, well, our old body, <laughs> our old body, you know, it's like, hmm. Anyway, but my thing is overall, this has just been like a chit chat video. Um, some of the things that I let me just tell you, since we're chit chatting, some things that I've been struggling with is with my child going to college. Hmm. I think this whole process of college has aged me. When I say it has aged me, I think it has aged me 10 years. Nobody told me how difficult, difficult going to college, how difficult the whole process is. You know, we're finally getting our head above the, you know, just understanding the whole thing. If you're a parent that this is your first time ever dealing with American university and all that stuff, you understand the way I'm coming from. For real, you understand because there are some things that, why is this thing blurry now? There are some things that they'll say, do this, do that, do that and stuff. Not to even talk about, you know, the um, the money and all that. So I'm not even talking about that. But if you are a new parent and maybe just had a child, open up a 529 bank um, account, 529 account, Every year, this is something that is helping us. Every year, we put some money in there, let it grow for college, and it's going to help. And then, of course, my daughter, she actually did a video today that came out today talking about college and scholarship and everything. But anyway, so that is it. I just thought I'll just come and chit chat with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and see our table is well looking good. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.